Hey guys, um, so I am going to do a quick five minute get ready with me because um, I know not everybody has time and not everybody also has money so this is going to be super drugstore only. Um, I feel like this look you can actually just carry around in your purse um, if you need to go out somewhere. I don't know, drop the kids off at school, go to the grocery store. I don't even know, but it's just something super quick, super natural, but it's just to make you look alive, and yeah, so um, first thing I'm going to do is prime my face, so I actually used to use this all the time, this is the Baby Skin and um, Instant Pore Eraser, if you guys have ever used Pore Professional, um, I believe it's by... Okay, I don't know who it's by, but anyways, if you've ever used the Pore Professional um, Primer, this is basically just like that. It's incredible and if you have even skin tones and no um, no blemishes or anything like that you can almost walk away with this stuff as your foundation per se because it erases your pores and kind of gives you like an even an evenness if you already if you already have it but I have like kind of unevenness hey girl hey I kind of have uneven um, skin tones on my face and also I'm breaking out because of the toner that I used the other day so yeah anyways so for my blemishes I'm gonna go in with the super stay better skin by Maybelline um, yeah this is a concealer never used this before just picked it up today so we're gonna see how it works oh and it's my skin color I'm terrible at picking up concealers or foundations or anything from the drugstore that's actually my color so anywhere that you feel that you might be red, like right underneath the nose, I feel like every woman gets red underneath the nose. I feel like it's just hormonal. And then let's be real, if you're in the car, you're not going to have brushes. So we're just going to use our fingers. So I'm kind of like pushing and spreading at the same time. I'm not like wiping, but I'm like pushing it into my skin and blending at the same time. Just anywhere you feel like you have a blemish or you're red. I'm going to try to make this under five minutes. I didn't film this before, so I don't know if it's really under five minutes, but we're going to try. Oh, and obviously underneath the eyes and on top this concealer actually has a really nice consistency Maybe because you don't get to see me every day. You go to work every day. Oh, but I heard you're coming to San Diego. And I totally did not get an invite on Facebook. But it's cool. It's cool. We're still friends. Okay, so now that we have the concealer all rubbed in, I'm just going to go in with, this is my favorite. Um, it's a BB cream by Maybelline. Um... And I am in the shade medium. This is just a sheer tint. They do have one that's a little bit lighter of a coverage. Um, but yeah, I'm just in the shade medium. So take that and rub it all over. So yeah, this is really light coverage. But it does even your skin out for like a more just natural and it's super hydrating. Oh, thank you, Alexa. Okay, it doesn't show me the timing on here, so 
I'm hoping that we're going to stay under five minutes. Um, so for brows really quick, um, we're just going to go in with, obviously if you have good brows you don't have to fill it in, you could totally skip that part, but I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal um, Brow Stylist Definer. My hands are all slippery now. And we're just going to draw little hair like strokes right where we're mainly kind of bald. Thank you. So just a supernatural brow. That's about it. But really, whenever you're, or whenever I'm doing just a super quick look, I don't really like to fill in my brows a lot. I just fill in wherever I feel like I have some bald spots. And then darken them if need be. Well, I guess I kind of started a little late too, so. I didn't really start at the one minute mark. Anyways, <laughs> so um, for lashes, I'm just gonna give mine a quick curl because I have super short lashes. If you have long lashes, obviously you just skip this part. I just pause for like eight. <laughs> okay, well, that didn't really do much justice because my lashes are so stinking short. But anyways, I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal um, Voluminous Primer. I'm going to try this primer. I've never tried it before, but I love primers because my lashes are so short and sparse. I swear it was because when I was like 13, I used to curl my eyelashes all the time, and I ripped them all out twice on both sides. So I feel like I used to have good lashes, and then when I ripped them out, they just kind of grew back all crazy and everything. <laughs> I miss you too. I always load up my lower lashes with primer. I feel like your bottom lashes just give you so much definition. I should stop saying you like I'm, like I know what I'm doing is gonna work for everybody. What I, I need to start saying for me because this is really what works for me and it doesn't, it might not work for everybody. So primers on. So I have two favorite drugstore um, mascaras. This one is the Great Lash Maybelline. It's an oldie but a goodie. Um, I'm pretty sure this one's like dried out because it's been in the bottom of my cabinet for God knows how long. Um, but this one I actually use for my bridal, just because number one it's cheaper than going and getting like Too Faced mascara, um, but also because it has the wand, which it separates. It's not like all clumpy and you know whatever but um it like individual it <laughs> makes each lash individual which is what I like so and if you have a problem with getting mascara on your top lid like I do all the time um a good trick that I've kind of like learned is if I look down and I put my mascara on like that instead of looking straight in and going up. Um, it's minimal, if any, on the top of my lid. Again, I'm sorry for the lack of eyelashes, but I literally have no lashes.
Yeah, I just, I feel like the bottom lashes just give so much more definition to your eye, especially if you like, I don't know, just left the gym and have to go run errands or something and you're just doing something quick to make it look like you didn't just sweat your whole, I don't know, life away five seconds ago. I mean, I don't know about you, but I sweat my whole life away when I go to the gym. Anyways, um, I totally went over five minutes. I'm so sorry, but you guys get the point. Um, I don't want to do that. Um, I don't know if I have... This is terrible. I don't know if I have just like a... Tinted. Ooh. Wait, do I? Sorry. I'm like going through my whole makeup, my lipstick collection in here. I know I have like just a tinted lip gloss that's structure. I know I have one. Somewhere. Okay, I guess I lied because I totally don't. But honestly, any like pink lip gloss, just light, girly pink lip gloss would do. But I seriously don't. <gasps> oh, I lied. It's not pink, but I do have a natural. This is the NYX Butter Lip Balm. It's like a nude colored. Um, lip balm. Honestly, when I do like a nude face, I don't really like to do a nude lip just because I feel like it washes you out. So if you have a tinted lip gloss or a like the Burt's Bees, they have um um, they have like tinted moisturizing um, chapsticks and stuff like that. Honestly, you could just walk in with Carmex and you'd be good. But if you are looking for a color, just something super pink, light. Ooh, I didn't forget. So with our fingers, <laughs> that's all we have in our car, um, we're going to add some blush. Um, and we want to do, I know none of these are like natural, but more skin tone like. I'm going to mix a little bit of that pink in there, but. Oh god. And again, I'm like patting and rubbing at the same time. Um, my fave nude or mauve lip color. Right now. That's a good question. So, mauve lip color, which is probably my ultimate favorite right now, is Ofra in the shade Mocha. That's more of like, like you said, a mauve color. But my favorite nude, and probably will always be my favorite nude, is the um, Mac Myth. I know it's kind of expensive, but that is probably my favorite. Whoa! my favorite nude. It's okay, we're gonna blend that out. Again, I'm kind of like pressing 
and moving. <laughs> I know, but we don't have brushes, remember? We're in a rush, we're in our car. We don't have brushes, so... And if you want to give a little life to your face, this is what you have to do. So just a little color to your face. Um, I really wish I had a tinted lip from the drugstore, but I don't. I only have like... I only have like liquid lips and stuff like that so I know this video is probably over five minutes but obviously you guys can do it quicker than five minutes um, but very simple I can go over what I just put on so baby skin for a primer you can probably just get away with a primer if you do have even skin already and don't have blemishes um, and then I went in with my super stay better skin um, concealer by Maybelline and uh, I put that over my blemishes and underneath my eyes and blended it out with my finger and then we went in with the Dream BB Fresh um, by Maybelline as well and I'm in the shade Medium Sheer Tint um, so not a full coverage just a very light very light coverage and then I went in with my L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer again if you have good brows you don't have to do that um, and then for my lashes, because I have such short lashes and very sparse lashes, I don't have a lot at all. I went in with a curler for about like eight passes on each. Um, and then I went in with a primer, which is the L'Oreal Luminous Primer. Uh, first, on the top and bottom. And either or are my favorites from the drugstore. My Lash Blash by CoverGirl or the Oldie But A Goodie, the Great Lash by Maybelline. Um, and then at the very, very end, just a super neutral or pink lip. I wouldn't do nude um, because like a very pale face, not pale face, but a nude face, light face with a nude lip kind of makes you washed out. Um, so any sort of pink or gloss or anything like that. And then we did our blush, which I used e.l.f. palette, blush palette. And I mixed these two. This one was too pink, and this one's kind of a little bit too mauvey. So I mixed them both to kind of get the pinky tone. Um, and then we just did it all with our fingers. No brushes, no anything. So let me know what you guys think about this look. Um, and, of course, all the videos that I do on Facebook Live, I will be putting on YouTube so that you can reference to them later if you want. Um, and, again, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you soon. Bye.